Hey, what up, class? Is your boy Mark here recording this video? And this is gonna be Tomorrowland, which was built by me, Steve, and Yao. Let's take a look. All right. So first, we're gonna start out with how we're gonna detect weather in our city. We're gonna be detecting cold fronts and warm fronts through these two beams here. Basically, whenever there's a warm front present or moving in, this down here will be blinking. And whenever there's a cold front moving in or present, it will also be blinking. And as you can see, since we have clear weather, it is blinking. Next, we will be talking about how our city will withstand different types of weather, such as thunderstorms, hurricanes, or tornadoes. Basically, this is actually a very simple solution for our city. We have built in this gate-like fence that goes around our city and it goes all the way around as you can see in every direction that you can see and basically what happens is whenever there is something risky like a tornado hurricane thunderstorm basically just like football stadiums this will raise up and cover the city thus protecting it from any harm moving on we will be showing you how our city uses the sun and its energy the sun is very crucial to how the city is ran because we are so reliant on it because of all the clean energy that we use. As you can see, every building that we have here, except for the farmhouses, we have uh, solar panels. And you see here at the pet store, except for this art museum that has wind turbines, we have solar panel, solar panel, solar panel, panel over at the hotel, solar panel at the bank. So basically a lot of our energy comes from solar. And these right here are the electric lines running from these solar panels, putting them into this storage Speaking of the art museum, now I'm going to be giving you guys a look at it. We're going to be showing you, in this art museum, the solar system, galaxy, and universe. So, as you see here, we have some civilians checking it out up in here in this art museum, right? So here, we have our solar system. You see, sun is, at, sun is at the center, and then we just have stuff going out. We got Earth here, Mercury, Venus... We got uh, Neptune all the way out here by itself, so that's our solar system. We got our galaxy here, see white on the inside, purple on the out. And we also have just a group of galaxies here. It's pretty cool. Alright, next we'll be talking about the hydrosphere. So basically here we have a hydro plant, right? Another great use of clean energy. So... This is how we mainly use water in our city. You see, we have it flowing down here and the pipes that are bringing the water up into this area. And basically, we have pipes and water underground our whole city. That's how we have these fountains and distribute water into our buildings. Now we have the lithosphere. As you can clearly see, we've used many different types of rocks in the construction of our city. Our buildings have used different types of rocks. Our streets, our fountains even, our farming houses. There's lots of different rocks that are used in our city. We also have a great display of our plate tectonics here. So as you can see, we have our convergent boundaries just ramming up against each other, just going upward. And over here, we also have one boundary going over another boundary. All right, now for more natural disasters, such as earthquakes, volcanoes, and tsunamis, our city has a great way of protecting ourselves from that. So basically, if there's like an earthquake or volcano or something coming, we have an underground bunker here that our citizens and people living here or even just visiting. This bunker is huge underground. It stretches like all the way through the street. And basically people can go down here, which will give them protection from things maybe falling on the earthquake or volcanic rocks and stuff coming at them. All right, moving on to ecology. Yes, I know you guys just so exciting, jumping with joy. And believe it or not, this city has abiotic and biotic factors. Let's take a look. Some of these abiotic factors include water, grass, and things like that. You know, we got some stone. Just really crazy stuff up in here, man. And then, let's take a look at our biotic factors. We got a nice looking penguin up in here, some fish, zookeepers. We got a polar bear, place for the penguins to hop up on. Got some dogs, bunnies over there, having a fight or something, and horses. This also is a great example of how we support biodiversity. This uh, 
is also a great example and it demonstrates three different biomes. As you can see here, we kind of have like a deciduous forest type biome here with wolves, horses, and rabbits. Over here we have our desert biome up in here. Not much life because it's a desert. And we also have our kind of arctic biome with all this arctic life. As you've already seen, our city reduces, reuses, and recycles very well with all these things that we have just constantly clean energy sources and great roads, electric car charger stations. It's really just, we are all about recycling, which also we're here to show you our three different energy methods. You've more or less seen it by now, but we have our wind turbines, our solar energy, and our hydro plant. Also, our very friendly farmers. We do farming in an ecological safe way where we grow our crops, right? But all the water that's put into these crops is used from the well. All right, moving on. As you have already seen in this video, but I'm going to cover again for some reason. Um, our streets and our transportation is very efficient. So instead of creating hot pockets like all these other cities that are just completely destroying the environment, right? Just completely trashing it, like unbelievable. We have more efficient rows made with different types of rocks so that we can't create pockets with all the asphalt that's used on other roads. Also, as I've showed you, this street is actually known as Charger Road. Whoa, right? Unbelievable. Believe it or not, it's because of all the car charging stations, right? All right, so basically what we do is everybody here drives completely electric cars. All right, guys, that's more or less wrapping it up for this video. I mean, as you can see, we have such a great, efficient city here. Everything's well ran. We have a pet store up in here. We got some skyscrapers for people to work at. We even got this hotel. Really nice hotel, actually. It's huge, like Donald Trump. Huge. The fountain. You got whatever the heck this thing is. And our bank. As you can see, it's nighttime. The city gets really lit up. It looks really good. Even the fountain looks pretty good. And that's really it for our video. Thanks for uh, sticking with us. I'm sorry about all this non-loading, you know, just modeling issues, I guess. You know, this 3D model is never reliable. But uh, the real thing is going to be awesome. Thanks. Bye.